All right, Buckliner, do you want to do the Street Fighter music again? Uh, do we have any copy to read while he's doing this? Because we got to like talk over it, right? <laughs> Welcome to IronAgeArchive.com. Man, if we could get sprites of us and then reenact that that part where uh... you're three days behind the curve, Jeff, because <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're talking about. We've already got your sprite, Jeff, and I, this is gonna sound In a racist. But yeah, your Ryu. Yeah, uh, okay. easy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's that means either you gotta we gotta get you E Honda and then just change the eyes a little bit, uh, or yeah, you I'm just gotta take between E Honda and Zangief. I can see that. I'll take Vega because that'll be easy. Then I don't have to change anything. <laughs> All right, guys, we are, we are currently recording the channel trailer for Iron Age Archive. And this is the kind of quality you get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this small sample, <laughs> we've got a whole smorgasbord of shows for you. Well, that's really the strength of our channel is that we have such variety and so many little projects going on. What we are is what we're what we're and I mean this seriously, we're becoming like um the NPR for the art right. Ooh, I like that. Do you, do you ever see, you know, um what is it, Portlandia? They have like that NPR moment. I'm speaking softly into a microphone, and you know what? You're sitting in your driveway, listening in the car, because it's too interesting to get out. Like it's it's quite a it's a good bit. I'll see if I can find it, but it's like I feel like that sort of mix of NPR, like a whole a weird sort of a mix of things. It's not just music playing constantly. And NPR does talk about some pretty important topics sometimes, don't they? And they've got light entertainment. They've got educational. They've got news. And for that matter, NPR kind of has its own culture. NPR listeners. Yeah, yeah. It's a radio station, but at the same time, it's created this way of life about it. Right. And you know what we've just obligated ourselves into, Jeff, is... Iron Age Archive tote bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's a, co- it's a cozy aesthetic, isn't it? Isn't that what we're going for? Something yeah. cozy? Well, what is what is the art right rendition of a tote bag? A tote bag? <laughs> we're not reinventing the wheel here. <laughs> when, was, when was the last time any of you guys used a tote bag? Uh, I try to use them regularly. Because oh, I'm okay. a micro environmentalist, so I, and I also find plastic bags to be aesthetically not appealing. It, it's also part of being responsible, right? Like I don't mean responsible for the environment, but like, okay, I'm going shopping. What are the things that I need? Like if I was going hunting, I better remember those bullets and not have to ask the deer to give me some bullets. Like I don't know, I just like carrying bags with me. You could also take bags hunting. How are you going to get all the meat back? Well, that's a... <laughs> plus y'all don't take bullet shopping. Like, what? what where y'all? Where y'all living? Canada. <laughs> um. So yeah, I guess if you like um, NPR style entertainment, tote bags, environmentalism, cozy <laughs> aesthetics, be sure to subscribe to Iron Age Archive. And Jesus. Yeah, and Jesus. <laughs> I think we nailed it, guys. First take. <laughs> we're gonna have that animated aren't we full length i think we should make bucklander get get the animation this time i want to see what the artists say to his uh his requests for additions <laughs> uh, you mean the additions i asked for in the beginning you asked for one that i made a mistake on i also asked for a club that was the one. That was the one. It was no pipe plus club. That counts as one. Okay. But I, th- I assume club would have been a bit more like, I don't know, tree branch looking than, I don't know. It's all right.